Can you imagine the feel of a forest? Different type of trees, herbs, different type of plants and a noise of different type of insects. Now, this is not uh, this was not an easy task. When we received this land, this was full of salt with no nutrients at all. But we tried with different type of grasses as well as different type of trees. This is very important tree, Leucina leucocephala or Subabul. This tree has done miracle for us because th there, this is a leguminous tree. It means that there are some root nodules bacteria present on its roots. These bacteria have capacity to fix nitrogen. And whenever we planted this type of trees like Leucinia, Cisbania, also called uh, also different type of uh, Melilotus, Trigonella, different type of plants we planted, they add nitrogen in the soil. And now you can see that how our trees are happy with this type of forest. Now this, this is Achyranthus or Apamarg. This is very important plant which makes the ground flora. And you know how this, the seeds of these type of plants are dispersed? If I walk down in this, uh, in the forest, on the forest floor, seeds get stuck on my legs, on my pant. And when I move somewhere else, the seeds go there, fall off and establish themselves. Therefore, forests have different type of seeds. Some dispersed by wind, some dispersed by animals like us, some dispersed through air, some dispersed through different type of insects, as well as birds and water. So how this forest community is formed and they complex, they, they make a complex association. They are stratified in a specific manner. For example, some are top canopy trees, some are middle story, some are lower canopy street and there are some herb uh, herbaceous layer. So that a, a assemblage of different trees, herbs, shrubs and their various grasses are formed. So all these stratification is in a coordinated manner where interaction of different plants are occurring. As a result, different type of animals are coming here and they are growing in numbers. For example, you can see that it is different type of tree. This is Albizia libac. And this tree has different type of leaf arrangement. So that a different quantity of sunlight, a specific quantity of sunlight is reaching to the forest floor. So there is some amount of moisture available in the forest floor. Whereas you can see there are bamboo thickets which has whole shaded areas. There are certain trees which are open canopied and most of the sunlights are reaching on the forest floor. So different type of habitats, micro habitats or in our language niche is available on these forest floors. So different type of micro habitats allow different type of ground fauna to come. For example, some have skinks, some areas have skinks, some have lizards, some have other rodents and animals. So with increase in insects and small animals, larger animals are coming by their own. So these forest communities have their role for the city. And this mahua tree has its own implication. This is food for everybody and it is used by local villagers for making liquor as well as flowers are also eaten. The Albizia libac, this is also very important forest tree species. They are not general avenue plantation trees but they are typical forest species and the leaves are so palatable that it is used by bat too. It is used by several herbivores like deer, chinkara and it is uh, therefore the increase in number due to this the due to these trees the increase in number allow other carnivore animals to come here this is jamun tree in our language it is shagigium cumini and everybody knows that jamun is very good for health this uh, the uh, fruits of this tree are all, also eaten by different animals and birds and it is typical top canopy forest species which not only allows shade 
and create different micro niche but also have capacity to have different type of nest on its tree now you can also see that when you come inside the its canopy you will feel cooling impact the trees have cooling impact because trees have a process called transpiration trees have process called evapotranspiration in which all the water inside the tree there are some amount of water inside the tree it goes up due to through stomata and it creates a different ambience inside the tree and therefore when you come inside the uh, tree, uh, beneath the canopy you feel cooling impact the other roles of trees in yamuna biodiversity park are they are giving different benefits for the urban landscape for the delhi people for example they absorb different type of pollutants they give they are large carbon sink so in itself it is a it is an ecosystem but for the local people for the regional uh, for the delhi people they give fresh air they reduces temperature they re they reduces pollution load of the city for example high pm 2.5 in the city is reducing due to presence of these trees this is a small bush it's a part of forest communities of yamuna river basin and this is vasak or adha toda vesika this the leaves are very medicinal and they are uh, they are used in different preparations for cough syrup and all we are in the forest community which represent teak as a dominant species teak with ecological values has also economic value as you know teak is the best known furniture from of the world therefore this tree this tree is very important for us also this is a very important tree another important tree it is dhak and and you have heard the phrase dhak ke teen path it means that the dhak only has trifoliate leaf or three leaf this is also called flame of the forest because whenever it, because all the trees are deciduous most of the trees are deciduous and when in leaf fall season all the leaf fall down in the forest only the red flowers of these uh, dhak flood, uh, bloom in high numbers so that it looks that forest is in fire therefore it is called flame of the forest here this is mitra gaina or jangli kadam and it is not the avenue kadam which we generally know this is the real kadam on which krishna used to sit in on the bank of river yamuna this tree has its own important because its leaves are also palatable and it is also uh, the bark the stem is also used for making small furniture like bobbins and different uh, chairs and all bale have also its role bale ejal marmulas is a medium size tree uh, we also know the bale drink bale sharbat which is used as uh, coolant cooling uh, cooling sharbat as well as it uh, it uh, relieve the stomach ache and other stomach disorder see we have different type of forest plants here and all these plants have different roles to play for example as we discussed earlier that above the trees are arranged in different manner beneath the soil too trees are arranged in different manners for example the shisham tree the tree uh, the roots goes up to 25 meters say and the grasses the roots go 1 meter and uh, the albizia procera it is dry uh, area plant and the leaf go, uh, the root goes around 30 uh, meters uh, inside the uh, in, inside the soil so there is complete utilization of resources for example in a soil strata the nitrogen is used by grasses for 1 meter for further meters different type of trees utilize different type of nutrients by their own and there is no competition beneath the soil as well as above the soil because above the soil no competition for light intensity some plants are shade demander some plants are 
light demander some plants need sun some plants need little uh, a different type of moisture levels therefore there is no competition and there is significant interaction between plants also the grasses grasses they allow different type of granivorous birds to come and feed on their on their uh, grains there are different type of trees which allow different type of birds to nest because they make different type of canopies there are some uh, some trees uh, such as babool tree which allow baya weaver to hang their nest there are certain small bushes which allow purple sunbird to make their nest also on the bark tree uh, the birds also utilize different type of insects some insects are found on the ground some insects are found on the bark some insects are found on the leaves some insects are found on the other areas of the trees therefore mixture of different trees allow different type of birds to come and different type of because of the different type of birds different type of an other animals come if there is a flat area ground nesting bird will make their nest if there is some uh, some birds like coppersmith barbet they make a hole on a dead tree therefore the dead trees are also important in a forest ecosystem there are certain other hollow trees on which coppersmith barbet or golden flameback these trees make hole and they make their nest these dead trees when they when they fall off they become the source for different type of fungi and other bacteria and other uh, micro uh, organisms to work upon they decompose these material and then convert into the available nutrients for the other plants here also you can say you can ask that why how this forest ecosystem are dynamic if one big tree fall downs what fills the gap i can show you different type of plants which are regenerating the seeds fall and they regenerate so whenever there is some forest fire when there is high wind when there is some insect attack or some other casualty some other catastrophic event occur in the forest these germinants these new germinants they take the height and they make the forest canopies this is a arc this is an arc plant which is very well known because it is very poisonous and we offer the flowers of these plant and as well as leaves of these plants to lord shiva during shivratri and other festive occasions and you can see that this plant has this is a host plant for a butterfly called plain tiger butterfly and this is a caterpillar which feeds upon the leaves of this arc plant now you may ask that this plain tiger butterfly is very common everywhere everywhere and you can see in any garden because this butterfly has developed an adaptation or defense mechanism in itself for example we all know that this is a poisonous plant and the caterpillar of this butterfly feeds upon the this poisonous leaves and as a result this caterpillar has uh, is also become poisonous therefore the birds which wants to feed these uh, caterpillars it vomit out whenever it feeds so but birds also have developed mechanism that they should not eat the caterpillar of this plant and when these caterpillar develop into cocoon and the adult butterfly emerges out from here the butterfly also become poisonous so both the caterpillars and butterflies are so poisonous that they are never feed upon by different type of birds that's why the number of these butterfly are higher in general public places and general public gardens so this is around 1 acre forest community and you know how it is perform how it is contributing to your life if you drive your car 26000 miles this 1 acre consumes the all carbon dioxide you have emitted through this driving so this is very important forest community and this one acre forest community also give oxygen to the 18 people in an year so this forest community the small patch of forest community is also important for our daily needs as well as for our survival